The first thing you need to do when you get your nook is to thread the cord through the hole at the end. You leave about oh, six inches and you're ready to nook. To begin chaining with your nook, you have to start with a slip knot. A slip knot is a disposable kind of a knot. If you pull on both ends, it disappears. You loop the yarn around and then pull this loop through and there's your slip knot. Put the slip knot on your nook and then you have to hold the yarn in your other hand in such a way that the tension stays even so that your stitches that you make stay even. So you can loop it around your little finger and then wind it around your index finger in such a way that you're controlling how much tension you get with your yarn. Now to make the chain you're going to yarn over by bringing the yarn over the top to the front so that this nook can catch the yarn and pull it through the loop. You've made a chain. And I'm going to continue to chain along here while you watch. As you chain, you have to keep moving your hand up. It helps control the tension or the size of the stitches. I'm going to chain enough that we'll have a chain longer than what this nook is so that you can see when I am knitting and picking up stitches along this chain, you'll see how the cord actually holds your stitches so that while you're knitting, they're safe and cannot be dropped off. So as I keep moving my hand up, I think that I've got just about enough stitches to go ahead, just about now.